Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the Test Tube Beauty Box for September 2020. If you're unfamiliar with this subscription, it is a bi-monthly subscription, so every other month, and you get full size and some sample size beauty and skincare, makeup type of products, and also hair care inside. The box is $29.95 a month plus shipping each month, um, and I really enjoy getting this box. I do pay for this one with my own money, and I think you get some really cool, interesting products to try out in here. Like the title says, there is a giveaway in this video. There'll be more details at the end, so stay tuned to the end for the details on the giveaway, it will be a skincare giveaway. So not all the products are in the tube. It does come in an outer like um, brown box. So some of the products are outside of the tube and we will start with those. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me or just want to get to know more about subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe and let's look inside the tube. I don't know, did that sound weird? I like heard it in my head as it was saying it, but whatever, we're here now, I said it. So it looks like this um, month's theme is easy peasy. Um, they want the products that make our lives easier and work double duty without time commitment. And I'm all for that. So let's take a look. So the first thing that is not in the tube is this here. And this is the Aqua Age, or Aqua Age um, Dry Shampoo. That's what it looks like there. This is an extending spray. This retails for $24 and you can get it at Ulta. Um, so it's a hybrid product that combines the cleansing and oil absorbing powers of dry shampoo with the volumizing benefits of a texturizing spray. Oh, interesting. I don't tend to use a ton of texturizing sprays because it just makes me look like I didn't brush my hair because my hair is so like straight, but I love using dry shampoo since I don't wash my hair every single day. I try to do it every other if I can help it. Um, so I'm excited to give this a go. It's obviously full size and it's a really pretty blue packaging. Um, so you spray eight to 10 inches away from your hair on the concentrated area of your roots. Now tip for dry shampoo, you should put it on on clean hair and not wait for your hair to get dirty. So right when you're out of the shower and your hair is, has dried, whether you do it naturally or not, then you would want to spray on your dry shampoo. Um, it'll work a lot better that way. I just <laughs> forget to do it half the time. Apparently it is a residue-free formula and it's made without paraffin, sulfate, sulfate, silicones, and gluten. The next thing outside of the tube is by After Spa, and this is their exfoliating washcloth. It has a sticker for your body. I'm glad that they specified that. Um, and yeah, it's just a bath and body, a bath and shower exfoliating washcloth, which retails for $7. Um, so you can scrub the hard to reach places with this. <laughs> if you can see from the illustration on your back, you're supposed to be able to get all that, which is actually really nice. Um, it's treated with an antimicrobial um, that resists the accumulation of bacteria and fungi. So you moisten the fabric, apply it to the body. You can put body scrub or wash on this and then gently massage your skin in circular motions from side to side until you feel clean and exfoliated. And then you rinse the towel. That's really cool. I, to be honest, I forget to like, I can't really, you know, reach that spot. So this is a really nice way. I don't know, After Spot has some really interesting products. Sometimes I'm intrigued, sometimes I'm not, but I'm genuinely intrigued by this one. The next thing that's not in the box is by Good Science Beauty, and this is their Skin Brightening Cream. I love the packaging. I don't know how I feel about brightening cream, if I'm honest. Um, this retails for $48. You could have gotten different ones. So you could have gotten their Purifying Face Cream, the Hydrating Face Cream, the Brightening Face Cream, and the Firming Face Cream. So this is the powerful antioxidant that evens out the appearance of persistent dark spots safely. It removes impurities for a brighter complexion, reinforces your skin's capacity to revitalize. You apply this to clean skin morning and night. Use one to two pumps, gently massage on the face. So this to me sounds like what a vitamin C serum would do. I think the purifying one would have been the one that I would have wanted, but let's open this up and get it out. The reason why I have so many vitamin C serums, and this one may not be with vitamin C, but it looks like it would have the same type of effects. The packaging though, I really, really like. It says that the Biotech native brand leverages the natural properties of elemental silicone, um, and it te its technology delivers scientifically proven ingredients in a bioavailable state, and time releases them to perform their intended function. Um, so I'm guessing, I can't, like, are these, moisturizers or serums? I don't know. I don't know if you use this as a moisturizer or serum because it just says apply. It doesn't say apply after moisturizer or whatever. Because it's a cream, it would make me think that maybe it's a moisturizer. But the packaging screams like serum, right? 
If you know, let me know down in the comments below. Should this be used as a moisturizer or as a serum? And then the last thing that's not in the tube is by Maskology, and this is their Pucker Up Lip Plumping Kit. Retails for $4. So it's a three-step kit that includes an exfoliator. I don't know which one's which. Oh, exfoliator. Um lifting mask, and then a plumping gloss. Um, for the thorough pick-me-up your pout has never experienced. Um, interesting. You leave the mask on for 15 to 20 minutes. I've never tried a lip mask like this. Normally it's just the ones you put over your lips, and honestly, I don't think those really do anything, but I'm curious to see how like the exfoliator and then the lip plumper is. Like Some lip plumpers are uncomfortable, so I wonder how this one is, but I'm really actually excited to use this because it's just a little bit different than the lip masks I've tried before. All right, now let's get in the tube. Now my tube is like bursting for joy here. There's a lot of stuff in this one, um, and that's kind of what it looks like there. These are really nice quality, and I always love the beautiful design, so you can definitely save these for storage and things like that. So the first thing that I'm pulling out of the tube is this here, and this is the Anti-Age Home Microneedling Intro Kit. Apparently this retails for $120. How? <laughs> Whatever, we'll figure that out in a second. So this is powered with stem cell growth factors. This kit is your one-stop shop to healthy skin. It includes one derma roller and two vials, oh there we go, of home microneedling solution that lasts 10 treatments. Uh, for some reason I thought it was just the roller. I'm like, aren't those like made of plastic and like, okay, interesting. Oh, this is like bougie, okay. So the roller's like in a case, and then you have these two like tiny little vials there of the stuff. I don't want to roll this on my skin because I don't want to like distant like get it dirty, but it has like little oh those don't even like like just tiny, you're not even gonna be able to see the tiny like little quote needles there. So how to use? Let's figure that out because that's these things like kind of make me nervous. I don't know why, but I'm actually really excited to get this and try this if I'm honest, but I'm like kind of nervous about it, which is why I'm acting the way that I am right now. So you apply the solution to the skin before gently rolling the device back and forth on the treatment area four times in each direction, horizontally, vert vertically, and diagonally. Well, what would you, what would the treatment area be? I guess it's for an anti-age, so you'd put it where you're getting wrinkles maybe, which for me is my forehead. The solution apparently should last 10 treatments, so the combination of human bone marrow stem cell growth factors and hyaluronic acid regenerate, hydrate, and smooth skin, making the ultimate non-invasive treatment. Okay, human bone marrow stem cell sounds absolutely ter terrifying and a little bit gross, but uh, I'm actually really, really excited to try this out. Would I spend 120 bucks on this? Absolutely not. And after I run out of the serum, will I buy more? Probably not, because I'm sure that it's way more than I want to spend, but will I use the 10 uses and, and hopefully enjoy it? I will try. <laughs> that is cool. I love that because you get new products like I would never spend $120 on, um, and I don't know. It's kind of cool. Let me know your thoughts down below. Ooh, a product from L'Occitane or L'Occitane. I like their stuff, but I never buy it because it's kind of pricey. This right here is their L'Occitane and Provence Cleansing Oil to Milk. It doesn't list a price. Why would you not list a price? Let's figure you out. Okay, I don't know why they didn't put a price listed here. Maybe they just forgot, but this retails for $24 on their website. So this is an oil to milk cleanser. I love using oil cleansers to remove makeup. It has braille on the back too, which is interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Oh, can you see that? Um... I've never had a product have braille on the back before, but I really like that. So this is ideal for a healthy looking glow. This oil to melt cleanser removes all traces of waterproof makeup and impurities for irresistibly soft and smooth skin. Um, so you just use it like um, uh, a cleanser. And I love to use um, oil cleansers. Like I said, to take off my makeup, then go in. Well, I take off my makeup, then use an oil cleanser, then use um, a regular cleanser. So very, very excited to get this. I like the brand L'Occitane, so I'm excited to try some stuff by them. Then the next thing out is very fitting. This is the C.O. Bigelow Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer. This retails for $6. So it's a fragrance-free sanitizer that's made with 70% ethyl alcohol. What is, I think it needs, doesn't it need to be like 80% to be truly effective? I think 70% is lower than that. Somebody probably knows in the comments. Um, it makes a perfect antibacterial must-have stay-at-home season. I think it's like 
for what is, does anybody know like what percent does the alcohol have to be for the hand sanitizer to be like actually truly effective? Is it, I thought it was 80, but I could be making that up. Um, so you squeeze a pea size amount into the palm of your hand and massage over them. Why am I telling you how to use hand sanitizer? I hope that you all know how to use hand sanitizer. I don't know why I'm saying this. This is a good size hand sanitizer. You can throw it in your purse. For me, I carry such a small purse that actually this is probably too big. I usually have the Bath and Body Works ones, um, but I like that it's, it doesn't have any um, fragrance in it and it does have, um, for it is formulated with aloe. So hopefully that'll leave your hands a little bit more moisturized um, because obviously using tons of hand sanitizer dries out your hands. And then last but not least, we have this here, and this is by Glow Skin Beauty, and this is their Suede Matte Lip Crown, which retails for $22. It delivers full coverage and gives users the ability to customize both their lip shape and color. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, let's not, like, dive to... There we go. I don't know why that looks so hard. Um, so that is what it looks like. It's just one of these crayon things. I'll be honest, I don't love the, the look of these crayon things anymore. I feel like it's kind of overdone. Um, but, ooh, that is creamy and that is beautiful. Kind of has a minty smell to it. Look at how beautiful that color is. I love that. So it's formulated with shea butter and mango seed oil and the color offers lasting hydration without smudging. Um, yeah, I think that that would be super duper comfortable. It's not, it's not like super pigmented. It, it is when you look at it on the hand, but I can see a little bit of patchiness there. So this is probably more something that you would want to wear on a lighter makeup day when you don't want to wear a popping lip. I don't, okay. <laughs> Let's just embarrass yourself on the internet today. Um, but I really do love the way that looks. So that is everything that I got in the test tube beauty box for September. I actually really like the, it this month. I mean, I feel like I usually always like it and I definitely feel like shipping makes it like 35 to $38 after, afterwards, I think, but I still always feel like I get my money's worth with this box. Cause you do get some really cool products. I'm always seems to be impressed. There's always something different and new in here. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, the giveaway. So like I said, it's a skincare giveaway um, and there will be a link down below where you can enter. You do have to be subscribed to my channel in order to win and live in the US or Canada. The giveaway will be open through Sunday, um, the 20th of September at midnight Eastern. And then that Monday, I'll reach out via email to you um, to let you know that you won. If you won, there's always an extra entry if you are um, following me on my Instagram. So you'll be able to get to there from the giveaway entry link. But I also do have my Instagram linked down below in case you're curious. Um, so definitely make sure to enter. Got some really fun skincare there. Let me know your thoughts on this subscription. What do you think? And I will see you in my next video.